Question number two. Given y equals three to the power x, express each of the following ter following in terms of y. Write each expression in its simplest form. And we have three parts: part a, part b, part c. This is question number two, and we are given y equals three to the power x. So they want you to write all this part a, part b, part c, the expression in 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 terms of y. So first question, look at it. You are given three to the power three x, and it, it, uh, this question has only one mark. So you can write it as three to the power x whole cube. When you use laws of indices, it says if you have a to the power m to the power n, a to the power m to the power n, you can write it as a to the power m times n or vice versa. So when you have this, you can write it as three cube to the power x. Or three to the power x whole cube, both are same. Three to the power x is y, so you can write it as y cube. That's all. That's the answer for part A. We move on to part B. In part B, we have three to the power x minus two. So you split them. You split them as three to the power x into three to the power minus two. Again, your laws of indices says a to the power m into a to the power n, a to the power m plus n. So you can split them, uh, and this three to the power minus two, you bring it to the numerator, it becomes positive two. Three to the power positive two by three to the power x. Three square is nine. Three to the power x is y. So the answer is nine upon one. This question has two marks. Only thing you need to split and bring it up. You got nine one. That's the easiest method. And move on to three. You have eighty one upon nine to the power two minus three x. Maybe the nine to the power two minus three x we split it same like same like this. You can write it as eighty one upon nine to the power two into nine to the power minus three x. You can cancel out nine square is eighty one. You can cancel out. So one upon nine to the power minus three x. You bring it to the numerator, it becomes nine to the power positive three x. Negative becomes positive. Now the base is nine here, but you need to convert this into y actually. But y has a base three actually. Y is three to the power x, not nine to the power something. So you can write nine as three square. To the power you have three x, and your laws of indices says you can just multiply them. Three to the power six x. Again, same like here, you write it as three to the power x whole cube. Here you write it as three to the power x whole to the power six, which is y to the power six. Y is three to the power. I'm not sure why you are given only two marks for these two questions. This is okay, two marks, but here at least. They should have given you three marks because it has a little bit of working in one. So three to the power x is y. Y is. I repeat this again. Eighty one. Keep it as it is. This nine to the power two minus three x or two plus three x or whatever it is. Split them like this. Nine square and nine to the power minus three x. And nine square you can cancel out. Eighty one is nine square. You have only one upon. Nine to the power minus three x. So when you bring nine to the power minus three x into numerator, it will become one times nine to the power positive three x, which is nine to the power three x. Then it's all about changing this nine to three. You can write it as three square. Two times three x is six x. Then again, this is not our answer. We need to write it in terms of y. So y is three to the power x. So write this as three to the power x to the power nine. So basically, we are we are using these laws of indices. The first one is a to the power m into a to the power n is a to the power m plus n. Or if you have minus n here, you can write it as a minus n, which is same as a to the power m divided by a to the power n. a to the power m minus n. This is the one law we are using, and another one a to the power m to the power n is a to the power. M times n. 
and there is one more one upon eight to the power m equals eight to the power minus m. So when you bring it to numerator, the sign changes here. If it is negative, if it is negative, it becomes positive. That's what we apply here. When you bring it to numerator, it becomes positive.